hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go hey it's the empire geo boxing empire boxing or boxing now big news man big news <laughs> you guys see the picture james DeGell with a fan taking pictures doing a press conference man Complete disrespect to Christy Bank Jr., man. You see Christy Bank Jr.'s face looking like what's happening right now. And, and James DeGale is over here smiling, taking pictures, doing press conferences, man. Crazy stuff, man. James DeGale, complete disrespect to Christy Bank Jr., you know. And it's, it's, it's funny stuff, man. It's funny stuff. Now, James DeGale has had close fights. Um, actually, he actually lost a fight against a, a pressure fighter in Caleb Truax. And um, a lot of people... He lost one for sure. It's official. And then when he fought him again, it was considered a win for Boudou Jack, even though people thought he still lost that fight. And I thought I thought Caleb Truex won both fights, in my opinion. That's how I feel. And um, I feel like a pressure fighter for James DeGale is just a horrible style matchup. You know, Caleb Truex is a great fighter, but I don't think he has as many levels and layers as Christian Mc Jr. does. And, you know, James DeGale is going to be completely surprised by Christian Mc Jr., Inside fighting, aggressive style. You know, I think the same fight that Christian Bay Jr. had with George Groves is exactly the kind of style that Christian Bay Jr. needs to implement fighting James to go. You know, people talk about how uh, Groves completely dominated Christian Bay Jr. And I don't think that was the case when I seen that fight. Um, I think Christian Bay Jr. Um, bullied Groves so much, actually. He actually dislocated Groves' shoulder because he was so aggressive on the inside. That's exactly what Christian Bay needs to do against this Groves fight. Um, you know, the only thing he needs to do is throw a jab <laughs> instead of just walking in with hooks. That's about it. He needs to jab his way in and he needs to take jabs. You know, uh, I have a feeling that Christian Bay Jr. doesn't like getting hit uh, too much and he didn't like trading jabs. Um, if he needs to trade jabs to get hit with a jab, then he needs to do that to close the distance because that's the most effective way to close the distance. Um, that being said, man, you know, James to go, James to go. You know, uh, Christy Bay Jr. is official, man. They just had the press conference, and I'm really excited for this fight, man. This is a fight that's actually one of the biggest fights that can be made at 168, you know. Um, so I'm really excited to see this fight. Christy Bay Jr. is not afraid of anyone, man. He fights all comers, and, you know, he could have fought a bum for a title, you know what I mean? He could have fought one of these other fighters at 168. James Legault, in my opinion, was, is one of the best uh, battle uh, tested fighters at 168 for sure. There, there's no doubt about it. He is the best at 168, in my opinion. You know, if he fought uh, Gilberto Ramirez today, I'll pick James DeGale easily, easily, just because he's fought in elite level fighters. <laughs> he's fought in everyone worth mentioning. You know, um, Gilberto Ramirez, why he's undefeated, he hasn't really fought, he hasn't fought anyone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he hasn't fought anyone. So this James DeGale, Chris Eubank Jr. fight is going to be hot, man. It's going to be lit. It's going to be crazy, man. We're going to be seeing, I, believe me, we're gonna be, they're going to be talking about the sparring days back in the day and how whoever got the best of whoever in the sparring. And from what I hear, I heard Christian Bay Jr. was tearing up James Legale, and they're trying to make this fight years ago, but James Legale didn't want to do it. You know, you know these fighters, you know, you know, when they're undefeated, they don't want to take chances and stuff like that. Or, you know, when they only got like one or two losses. But, you know, now, now that, you know, James Legale's catching these L's and his career is looking like it's coming to an end, he's taking the fights. Unfortunately, he's taking it now instead of earlier in his career. Instead but yeah, man, that goes the same for Christy Bain Jr. too, man. He's taking some L's from Billy Joe Saunders, and he's taking L's from George St. Groves. Um, but we all know that Billy Joe Saunders, if you haven't been following boxing, has been <laughs> has basically popped dirty. You know, he's uh, popped dirty for steroids. So we don't know how legit that uh, Billy Joe Saunders win is. So yeah, man, looking looking back on it, you know, we, he has one loss for sure. Christy Bain Jr. has one loss for sure, which is Groves. But, um, you know, in my opinion, that can be really excused because he's, he hopped up a weight class to fight Groves in a super eight tournament and a super middleweight, which is, you know, he didn't have to do that. But, you know, the only reason why he really did that is because he took an L at 160. And at, at that point, all the fight, big fighters are basically fighting each other. You know, uh, Canelo Alvarez is fighting Triple G and Triple G is fighting Canelo. And basically all the other fighters are, you know, trying to keep that O so they can get the big name fights. So Chrissy Bay Jr. basically took a chance and went to 168 and came up short. But yeah, man, let me know how you guys feel about it, though, man. You know, Chrissy Bay Jr. is fighting uh, James DeGale. James DeGale is disrespecting him, taking pictures, smiling for the cameras. You know, Chrissy Bay Jr. is looking there like, what's happening right now? Is he taking a picture in front of our press conference? Is he not taking me seriously? Let me know how you guys feel about it, though, man. Like, comment, subscribe. 
This is the empire. Geobasking empire. Peace.